my channel so today I am back with a clothing haul video and it's been a long ass time since last time I did a clothing haul but as I am in self-isolation I was having a little look at the weekend and I thought I might as well treat myself to some clothes I've just been paid today I'm gonna be doing a pretty little thing oh hold on What's that for? Today, I'm going to be doing a pretty little thing haul. I bought quite a bit, so I'm pretty excited. It's been, I know it's been a long time since I last did a clothing haul, but in itself, it's been a long time since I last ordered anything from Pretty Little Thing. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I probably buy most of my clothes from the charity shop anyway. By the way, if you are new to my channel, then feel free to hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, make sure to also tap that little bell down below so you are notified every single time I post a new video. And if you do enjoy this video, of course, feel free to give it a big massive thumbs up. And without further ado, I'm just going to roll onto the video and we're going to talk about some clothes. Okay, so my package already has a split in it, so I think I'm just gonna start by taking things out of the split. I can't even remember some of the stuff that I ordered. It was that long ago. Actually, no, it wasn't that long ago. It was like four days ago. I don't know what I'm talking about, but anyway. So firstly, we have this pink buckle belted casual jogger. I remember this one. Ooh, that's nice. I thought it had a belt. Buckle belted with no belt. There's no belt there. I would just like to add that I found the belt, I'm just stupid. I got these pink joggers, so this is what the joggers look like. They've got a nice elasticated waist, very soft material, obviously. We need some joggers in this time because all I've lived in is pyjama bottoms and joggers, so it's nice to have some more joggers to add to the collection. I got these in a size 10 and they're just something casual, they're just plain, nothing much to them, but I think they're pretty much a win. And then next up, we've got this item. This is brown oversized color block knitted jumper. Oh my God, I live in jumpers, especially knitted jumpers. I'm always on the lookout for jumpers that are a little bit different. So this is what this one looks like. It's a high neck, which I absolutely love. I am a sucker for a good high neck jumper. So the sleeves at the bottom are like fitted when it gets to the bottom. So you get more of like that puffed out balloon style sleeve which I also really love and I love the contrast of colour between the brown and the white as well. I think that's really nice. I just think this is a really really nice jumper to just throw on on top of leggings which is literally my favourite look ever especially when I'm going to work. I got this in a size small. Also is shaped at the front as well which makes it look really nice with leggings but also you could wear some nice like Topshop Journey jeans with them or I have some nice like balloon jeans. I think this would look really nice with that. Once again I really love this and the knitted material is really soft as well. I've just got the order confirmation up on my phone so the jumper that I've just shown was £10 but I also got an extra £5 off with my student discount as well. Joggle, joggers were £11 once again. I've got 5% on top. And then this A-line floral skirt, which is, oh my God, this is such a beautiful skirt. This was £9. I'm sorry, but how pretty is this? I have a skirt similar to this that I got from Primark and I pretty much live in it. I love these like A-line skirts as well. They look so nice. I know we're coming up to like summer or whatever, but if we go back a bit to autumn and you wear them with like a high turtleneck and a cardigan and boots, I live in that in autumn. This is also a really nice summer skirt as well. If you want to wear just a normal bodysuit and then put this on, and just wear some like boots or converse is also a really nice one. Looks a little bit see-through actually, so I hope it won't be when you put it on. But anyway, the pattern is beautiful. The style of it as well is absolutely beautiful and I think you can style this in so many different ways with so many different tops as well. Oh yeah, by the way, I got this in a size 10. And then next up, I ordered quite a few dresses, so you're gonna see quite a few of the same style dresses in this video. So this is an emerald green polka dot print wrap long sleeve sleeved tea dress. This is also in a size 10. I love emerald green as well. Like it's one of my favourite colours when it comes to clothes. This reminds me of another dress that I have from Pretty Little Thing that I ended up getting from the charity shop actually. This is what this one looks like. It's also this like piece of material that you can wrap round and then tie it at your waist which is also a really nice addition. The sleeves are just normal sleeves. I think this would actually look a lot nicer if it had like puffed out sleeves at the bottom. I think that would be really nice. But anyway, the sleeves are just normal sleeves. Kind of has 
this v-neck like i said the color is absolutely beautiful and just check in the price so this one was 10 pounds which isn't bad for a dress it's the sort of like price you pay in primark okay, let me drop my glasses next up we've got this oh this was one of the last items that i bought and i saw this in the sale and it was it like a silly price that i was like gonna have to get it so this is also a dress but it's more of a casual style dress whereas the other ones are more casual ca well, try that again a more like casual dressy so this is a black slogan contrast baseball t-shirt this is also in a size 10 it's actually a, a denim style material as well it's really good quality that's really thick so this is what this one looks like once again absolutely perfect for spring slash summer oh my gosh this was 10 pounds which for the quality of this like this is really thick material this is really good i'd say that this was more of like a spring transitioning into summer dress because it's quite thick whereas you don't really want to be wearing this when it's like 30 degrees because you'll probably get a little bit hot it says plt on it as well i actually to begin with thought this was embroidered but it's not it's basically like screen printed on i like the white stitching on it as well it gives an extra bit of detail and then it's buttoned all the way down okay and now we've got another jumper obviously i don't think i can ever do a haul that doesn't include a nice knitted jumper i think these are the only two that i've bought so this is a tall cream off the shoulder jumper in a size 10 this is from the tall range but i'm tiny i'm like five foot four but then i guess this isn't the end of the world because it's only a jumper and i like my jumpers bigger anyway so this is what this one looks like off the shoulder it's like another one that i have from pretty little thing i have one a stone color and i wear that all the time it's really really good for spring as well you know when you want to wear it's kind of like jumper weather but thin jumper weather so because it's off the shoulder as well you let your shoulder breathe and then you wear some jeans it fits nicely for summer okay this is like the transitioning time of the year even though we can't go out but still we need to be prepared so this is what this one looks like it's a gorgeous white slash cream color and it's just pretty basic but can be effective if you style it right oh my gosh when i say i am in love with this dress i am in love with this dress like i saw it on the website and i was like this this is me in a dress so this is beige check puff sleeve zip front got this in size eight must have been because i was in size 10 so I'm just going to be hopeful that I can fit in a size 8 because once upon a time I could fit in a size 6. This was £13. Once again, not too badly priced. Oh, this has such a vintage style to it as well. I need a moment. This is what this dress looks like. The sleeves, literally one of my most favourite parts of this dress. And it's zipped down as well. Also here, it's kind of cupped as well, which is just an extra little bit of detail which will make it look so much flattering on. We're back with another dress. This is Red Ditsy Floral Print Frill Detail Shift Dress. This is in a size 10. This is a little bit like the emerald one. This was also £10 and this has a shorter sleeve to it as well. Okay, so it has it has an elasticated short sleeve this is a lot thinner than i imagined it being this is pretty thin material for 10 pounds no i think this is actually the first item in this haul that i'm actually slightly disappointed in i don't know it could look amazing on it could be a 10 out of 10 and it probably wouldn't you know i wouldn't care about it but it's just really really thin which actually might be okay for summer it depends how you look at it so this is the second to last item I cannot remember for the life of me what this is ah this is top this is a sand satin bardo bardo puff sleeve long top and this is in a size eight i'm just gonna quickly check how much this is okay so this was 12 pounds I'm not gonna lie, I do like a nice top. I've kind of been on the lookout for a really, really nice top. This is one of those tops where it's kind of like off the shoulder, but as you can see, it's elasticated, so you kind of have to like wiggle into it. A bit like that other dress, it has cups here, so it gives the top a little bit more. It gives it some shape, some detail, and I am such a fan of puffer sleeves as well. But yeah, it looks really, really nice, and it's kind of like a jeans and a nice top 
kind of top. And then finally, I treat myself to a hair accessory because my hair's getting longer. And you know, I like to spice my Instagram makeup looks up a little bit. And it's been a while since I last spiced them up. So I bought myself a clip. This is a white pearl hair slide. I've been looking for a hair clip like this for ages and I just have never been able to find one. So this was £3.50 for one hair clip, but I think you can get two for six quid. And this is what it looks like. I'm hoping they stay on. Just pop it in your hair like so. Maybe not actually, I'm gonna mess up my bun. A little bit bougie, a little bit different. So if you see this on my Instagram, it's because I'm trying to like spice myself up a little bit. So I really hope that you did enjoy this video. I know there was a lot of clothes, a lot to take in, but there's some really, really nice pieces. And I do like having a little bit of a shop on Pretty Little Thing. I probably only do it like once a year where I do like a big Pretty Little Thing shop like this. So. Stay tuned for the next one in a year. So I really hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did enjoy it, then don't forget to smash it. A big massive thumbs up. And also feel free to hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, make sure to also tap that little bell down below so you are notified every single time I post a new video. I have also started to make TikToks. Just a little plug. If you wanna follow me on TikTok, then I'll leave my account there. I post makeup looks and tutorials and stuff on there, so. If you want to follow me, then feel free to. Once again, thank you so incredibly much for watching. I hope you're all staying safe. I hope you're all staying well. Keep staying positive, and I will see you on my next video very, very soon. Bye.